Snowball bush viburnum is a diverse family of evergreen, semi-evergreen and deciduous flowering shrubs that are mostly native to North America and Asia. Their growth sizes vary depending on the cultivar. Most are hardy in USDA zones 6 to 9 with a few that are hardy down to zone 3. These shrubs produce masses of white snowball blooms in the spring with the flowers starting out chartreuse green and progressing to white at maturity and eventually fade to a pinkish hue. They may look very much like hydrangea blossoms, but they bear no relation to the hydrangea arborescens plant. Most viburnums are dense shrubs forming a mass of green foliage. Viburnums are mostly moderate to fast-growing plants. They can grow from 1 foot to more than 2 feet per year. Viburnums are excellent for foundation plantings or specimen plants, depending on the height upon maturity. They can also be planted as a hedge or screen plants. There are four types of snowball bushes. European snowball bush or viburnum opulus roseum is a deciduous shrub growing to 12 feet tall and 12 feet wide. It produces masses of large, 4-inch pure white, snowball-like flower clusters that cover the green foliage in late May. The flowers are followed by bright red berries in fall, and persist well into winter. The flowers can be used in floral arrangements. Other names for this plant are Gelder Rose and European Cranberry Bush. It is hardy in USDA zones 3 to 8. Chinese Snowball or Viburnum Macrocephalum is also a deciduous flowering shrub that can grow up to 25 feet tall and 20 feet wide in a rounded, vase-like growth. The flowers are the largest of the Snowball Viburnum, reaching 6 to 8 inches across. The flowers are sterile and are not followed by fruit. The blooms open in March and April and often reblooms in late summer or fall. It is hardy in USDA zones 6 to 9. Japanese snowball or viburnum plicatum is a deciduous shrub that grows up to 15 feet tall and 15 feet wide. The three-inch wide snowball-like clusters of white sterile flowers appear in April. This species of viburnum is invasive in some areas. It is hardy in zones 5 to 8. Fragrant snowball or viburnum x carlocephalum is a deciduous shrub that grows up to 10 feet tall and 10 feet wide. The 5-inch wide cluster of pink-tinged white flowers are very fragrant and long-lasting. They open in March to early April. The flowers are followed by clusters of red berries which ripen to black in fall. The green foliage will turn purple or orange-red in fall depending on the hybrid. It is hardy in USDA zones 6 to 8. The ideal time to plant snowball viburnum bushes is in spring or fall when the weather is cool. Planting them in the summer heat can cause stress on the plant. Viburnums are adaptable to a wide range of soil types. But if you want them to perform their best, plant them in moist, well-draining and slightly acidic soil with a pH of 5.5 to 6.5. Amend the soil with loads of compost before planting. Plants should be spaced at least 4 to 10 feet apart, depending on the mature size of the cultivar. Add a thick layer of bark or pine needles on top of the soil to retain moisture and prevent weeds. In cooler climates, choose a site that gets 6 to 8 hours of full sun each day. In warmer climates, plant them in a location that receives some shade during the hottest part of the day. Snowball viburnum will flower best when they get 6 hours of full sun. Too much shade can reduce flowering. 
Water viburnum deeply on a regular basis to keep the soil evenly moist during the first growing season. This will help the shrub to establish an extensive root system. Watering established shrubs on a regular schedule will promote more blooms. Increase watering during long dry spells. Feed the shrubs with a well-balanced slow-release granular fertilizer in spring. Avoid fertilizers with a high nitrogen content as it will inhibit the plants from blooming. Prune viburnums right after they are done blooming. Periodically remove old and weak canes. Rejuvenation pruning can be done on overgrown plants once every 3 to 5 years. Keep in mind that it will take a couple of years for the shrub to grow back to a decent size. Leaf spots and powdery mildew can be prevented by not overcrowding the shrubs with other plants and by regularly removing dead and diseased branches. Aphids and spider mites can be eliminated with a strong spray of water. Viburnum can be propagated by softwood cuttings from fully grown snowball trees. Use clean pruning shears to cut at least 6 inches of stem with two sets of leaves. Remove any leaves from the bottom part of the stem, and dip the end in rooting hormone. Plant cuttings in small pot filled with potting mix. Cover the cuttings using plastic bags, and make sure the bags don't touch the top end of the cutting. Place them in a bright location that gets indirect sunlight. Roots should develop after 4-6 to six weeks. Snowball bush viburnum are low-maintenance plants once they are established. The spectacular blooms make great cut flowers. Thank you for watching.